morning, neighbor. What's going on, yo? It's your boy Jared Shoesmill. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm also the driver of Black Soul M4. And for today's video, we are going to SoCal, but we're currently here in Visalia, California. It's a little bit below Fresno, I would say. It's because we have a client. Um, he has an LSB, a Laguna Seca Blue F80 M3, and I'm shooting his car today, and I'm pretty excited about it. And Kevin and I are here, by the way, if you guys remember, my best friend Kevin, he has his Camaro um, 1SS, he's actually saying, because I don't know why. Anyways, like I said, we are gonna shoot this LSB F80 M3. LSB means Laguna Seca Blue. I'm pretty stoked about this, and I can't wait to show you guys more videos and pictures, so let's do it. All right, you guys, so we just got the key from my client here in Visalia, he just needed to go into work ready, so he just tosses the key. Anyways, guys, like I said, we got the keys right here. The owner gave me a permission to drive his car and just shoot it around here. So this is his F80 Laguna Seca Blue M3. Wow. That looks pretty sick, y'all. First thing we're gonna do right now is we're gonna shoot the car. It has a six speed mounted transmission as well. First location here in Visalia. Honestly, you don't even know where this is. We're gonna shoot the F80 here. Take probably what 10 to 15 minutes to shoot the details. Gonna shoot a few angles here and there. Um, details of the wheels, honestly. Ship good carbon fiber stuff in here, man. So I can't wait to showcase it to you guys. And yeah, let's start shooting right now. All right, you guys, so we just finished shooting that Laguna Seca Blue F80 M3. Um, thank you to the client, thank you for booking me today. And now we're gonna head out to SoCal. We got a three hour drive, so honestly, I don't even know what time we're gonna get to um, LA. We're probably gonna eat first and then drive, so see ya. All right, so we are stopping once again here at Grapevine, getting gas for now. Um, we were about to hit quarter tank, so we have to get gas. I'm finding the best face mask to making sure their hands are cold. And now, gas prices here at Shell Grapevine is always freaking crazy, man. $6.69. All right, you guys, so we just got here at Quality Inn and Suites in Inglewood. Um, our check-in is gonna be at 3 p.m., but we're gonna see if we can check in right now. It's currently 2.41 p.m., so. All right, let's go check in, y'all. There it is. 2.25. Wow. All right. First things first, settle down, uh, trying to rest. And then third one, we gotta shoot in Temecula. It's like an hour and a half from here. I don't even know how long it will take me from here to Temecula, cause it's like traffic right now. So we'll see. But dude, I gotta rest. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, and we are on the way to our second shoot today. We have two hours and a half, supposedly. Actually, it's mostly, it's, it was supposed to be an hour and a half drive from here. But the place is called um, Temecula. In fact, the client's calling right now. Here are the cars that we are shooting for tonight. We got this boosted Acura NSX. Some things but I heard the owner said that this thing's pushing 610 something like that. He's got TE37s so and he's also on air and he was shooting flames too. And this is Marv GTS. It's 911. Of course with a BBS. Archplay Toyota then. You have to get the six speed. 
Yes, sir. We're currently here in Temecula, California. We're supposed to shoot as E31, some stuff reason that we couldn't really do it. Yeah, enjoy the photos. All right, so we're having angry chicks for dinner, late dinner. All right, so this is what we're having for dinner. I'm having chicken tenders with rice and fries. And Kevin is having double chicken sandwiches and fries. Oh. All right, day two tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep. Kevin and I are gonna sleep now. Good night, y'all. Hey, yo, where we at? We're in Inglewood, California. Right. So today, we are going to Santa Barbara to get J-Ray Shoot's new wing for yes, his sir. M4. And other than that, I don't know what else we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, y'all? It's day two here in LA. Um, we are going to install, like Kevin said, we are going to install my wing today in Santa Barbara. After Santa Barbara, since we're by Santa Barbara and it's kind of far from Inglewood, we're pretty much just going to go to the beach later on. Or we might just explore LA more. We need to wash the car, so let's go do it. We are going to wash my car. I was supposed to wash my car, but I don't mind spending 40 bucks just for getting my car washed. So, we'll just do that. There she is. We just got here in Santa Barbara. Long drive was like two hours and 20 minutes, I think. But we're finally good. And um, yeah, we can't wait to install the wing. And um, I haven't eaten yet. Kevin hasn't eaten yet, but it's all good. All right, this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna see this. But it's all good though, we're gonna sell that later on. We got this wing right here. And what's up, Leroy? What's up, what are you doing? <laughs> you, yep. you, you wanna tell them about your, um, about your, your company first? Yeah, so yeah, as you said, we are straight from Germany. We are um, located next to, next to Cologne in the western part of Germany. And yeah, I've been living here for a while now, so we are exporting them to the USA, and now finally, first client was John. Yep. Very happy to, exactly. to mount it today and install it. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna see this right now. I honestly don't even know, I honestly don't know how it's gonna look, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna look good, because based on the photos that you guys photo posted, yep. The blue F82 M4, and I think it was a green one, yeah, right? Green one. Those look pretty good, man. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, but also at the same time, you guys haven't had a black yet, and also it's gonna be the first one here in the States. Yeah, so perfect. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna install this right now and take some photos later on. And yeah, I'll show you guys later. So this is the after product with the wing. Oh, what was your name again? Sorry. Adam. Adam, man. So this is Adam right here, and he owns um, Speed Shop. Okay, yep. so he has his 2002. Uh, it's just, it's basically the stop motor. Uh, we took it out, rebuilt it all the way. Um, it's got the dual carbs. It's got a huge cam. Mm -hmm. Dang. Um, all wire tucked. You're right. So Looks pretty clean, too. Yeah, that's a uh, Honda Civic radiator. Um, it's a little bit bigger, but you right. need to fit, and then electric fan so that it could all fit yeah. in there. Um, and then the MSD was custom machined for this car because they mm -hmm. don't make one for the O2. Mm -hmm. Had to get one for a um, Volkswagen, right. and then they machined it to fit nice. this car. Nice. Yeah. It, take, it took me like from start to finish of the rebuild, it uh -huh. took like one year. I see. Um, and then the actual the rest of the car probably took another year. So yeah. I've had it for like Eight nine years already. Yeah. Okay. Um, it was just like a, I called it our, my dog car. It had like dog car. seats and okay. like all that. Right. And um, I got T-boned. Uh -huh. Oh. Kinda, yeah. So it got. Wow, you're alive though. So. So it got um, 
got ruined. They uh -huh. I luckily had Haggerty on it, right. so I got paid out like true value of the car. That's good. And I paid stupid true value for this one. But okay. I, you know, it didn't come out of pocket, and I was able to find this. Um, I had to put the header on it because I slammed it, and right. it, was, it had a long tube, so it was way too long. Yeah, he did mention they just got headers too. Yeah, so I just got these headers. Um, these are the Ireland headers. Mm -hmm. uh, the engine is also built, and it's original paint car. So I love that. It's like you gotta go original too. Yeah, so it's it's just gonna stay this way. Um, yeah, just keep the engine clean and probably not gonna drive it too much, which is kind of the bummer because the other car it was like a daily driver, mm -hmm. and this one's like it's so cherry. And, and it's pretty clean to too, man. It's pretty mint. I love it. So it came on the coilovers, but I built the wheels right. and then. Uh, Put it all the way down. Let's see. And this is your E46 M3 right yeah, here. Yeah, this was my daily when okay. I was uh, when I couldn't drive my O2 every day. Uh -huh. I started. Uh, I bought this thing. And right. They were like at their bottom price at mm -hmm. the point. So <laughs> that now, time. Yeah. I <laughs> For now, got it I don't. Yeah. Timing, yeah. And now they've gone up so much. Exactly. I, I can't get rid of it. So, so you did mention this is just like a stock uh, E46, right? Or this is all bone stock. It's all bone stock. I, on it. I was gonna say. I mean, it seems like your your coils. I mean, you're uh, you're not pretty. Yeah. You know, stock with a with a height, but so yeah. So it has E90 wheels on it, and then uh, E90 competition brakes. Right. And then um, the KW suspension. All that uh, is done, and then everything else is pretty bone stock. And, and honestly, I, f I honestly feel like every single E46 owner that I know. One of your, what's your favorite part, dude? It's the east, right? <laughs> like the curves, the curves are like so nice, bro. Like, I don't know. It's just even the F80 M3 set, the M4s, yeah, they're cool, but like. Have you seen the F80s and even the E90s? Yeah, the E90s Dude. are gnarly. Yeah, exactly. Well, the E90s are almost nicer than like the E92. Ex because it's got true. Hard core. But what about this though? If you had to choose between the E90 and E92, you gotta be real honest right here. I had you. two E90s, okay. but for right now, I think my boat would go E92. For like why five, is that? Why? Uh, just because it's it's a coupe and it's like something to store away. And that's, true. Right. that's true. That's yeah. true. Functionality wise, hey, that's true. Is the move. But all right, so we're gonna check out some E30s that they are selling, and also one E30 is for giveaway. Now Leroy, my sponsor right here, is thinking of buying one. Hopefully, I think. Oh, this is a nice E30, guys. Oh, yeah. Ooh, red interior too. It's gangsta. Dude, it is. Oh, it's clean. It's Manuka. Uh oh. You're... Five speed manual, 325 IS. Are you, are you, so you're buying it? Nah, yeah, you definitely are. A five speed, and um, this is clean. Yeah, it's really nice. And stock, uh, bone stock motor? or? Uh, no, it's actually a rebuilt stroker. Stro so oh, really? It's bigger than a 2.5. Okay. Uh, higher rev limit, I believe they rev out to about 8,000. And then okay. it's just on some HR. Uh, original paint. Original paint. So I don't know if Leroy's gonna buy it. If he's gonna buy it, then he's probably gonna. <laughs> See, Adam, I don't know. I think he's gonna buy it, man. It. I, I think Leroy's gonna buy it. I don't know. He's not serious. He said, "Oh, it's my new car." He said, "He said he's, it's my new car." So I'm like, pull up the tape. There you go. Just go for it, man. Go for it. All right, you guys. So we just finished catching up today with Leroy, my sponsor. And we just had, um, what was that cookie? Or like a... It was called like a cookie monster. A cookie like, monster, you had like, like some a ice cream. Like you know like how ice cream is on top and top of the hot cookie? Pretty much. Don't eat meat. Huh? Don't eat meat. Don't eat meat. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't eat meat, man. <laughs> We're gonna drive in Pasadena. It's like about, it's about like two hours, nine minutes. So, yeah, it's gonna be a long drive. So I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> All right, so it's 12.43 a.m. We're here in downtown, downtown LA, or DTLA, as some of you guys call it. Since we're out tonight, might as well just take more photos tonight since we're here in downtown LA. And we're not gonna waste more time, so let's go.
Cuban Phillips, day three here in LA. This is going to, well, not going to be our last day today because we are pretty much staying for another day here in Los Angeles. Kevin and I just want to go out and just do a lot of things and uh, he's going to check out right now though. So, so today we're going to grab some early breakfast. It's going to be somewhere in Hollywood and after that, um, shoot more, go to places and all that. We'll figure it out. We don't know yet, so I'll let you guys know in a bit. And yeah, I'll take you guys along with us today. Good ballers out here, and obviously here in SoCal, so it's pretty sick. They got three courts right here, uh, actually four, including one over there. I think they're having some tournament or something. But we're, we're gonna watch them now. See you guys, show you guys some clips. We just saw someone's board, so here we go. Now, like, I want to see someone get a poster at you know what I mean? Like someone's literally playing right here. Having his shades on, man. It's insane out here. Okay, watch out. Oh, hey, get out the way. Down the hood, watch out. I'm waiting. Oh, Hezzy. Dang. I'll play. You can't, you won't shoot. I'm just trying to see if he can dunk it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna let you play. What do you think? Here you go. So we are here at our second hotel in LA. We decided to go like a little bit closer to downtown LA. We're just gonna go hang out with some of our friends. Now, not really car stuff, really. And there will be, there will be a few, but not a lot. Good morning. Good morning. It is our last day here in LA. Um, fortunately, yeah, it is our last day, but it's all good. About to head home, um, back to. The Bay Area. Well, actually, I don't live in the Bay anymore. Like I said, I live in Stockton now. He lives in Lapidus. So Bay Area still. But before that, we might need to go to Porto's just to get some, you know, stuff for our family back. Um, currently, we're going out to Dominic Toretto's house. So we're currently driving out to his house, and it's like nine minutes away. So. This is the house um, that they use in the Fast and Furious here in LA. It's pretty sick actually. And the shop is literally like on this side. You guys are gonna see it in a bit. All right, you guys, so this is the shop that they used in the movie Fast and Furious. This is Dominic Toretto, or the Toretto shop pretty much. Tuna sandwich, I don't know if you guys remember the scene where um, Paul Walker and Vince, or yeah, Brian and Vince in the movie were fighting and somewhere, it was probably somewhere here. It was pretty cool, it was, dude, it just feels like we're in a movie right now, man. So, the cars that they use on the Fast and Furious movie. Insane. They got the A90 Supra. They got that Honda STK. They got Dom's Charger. And some of these cars are from the Fast and Furious or um, Tokyo Drift. Actually, this is the first Fast and Furious cars right here Toyota Supra and Charger. These two right here were the original place back in 2000s or something. We are gonna head home. Thank you, thank you guys. I was actually gonna take some photos. I mean, I already took some photos with my car, but I wasn't able to take a selfie because there were some cars but, uh, in front of the house. It's all good. Uh, all right, ready, ready to head home? Are you nope. ready to head home? I don't wanna go home. All right, for sure. There's nothing to do at home. Oh. 
All right, you guys, so we finally made it home here in Stockton. Um, before I end this video, I just want to thank you guys again for watching. If you guys made it to this, to the last part of this video, I appreciate you guys for watching this. And we got more content going on in the next few weeks and obviously in the next few days. Well, <laughs> stupid. Uh, thank you once again for watching this video, this YouTube video. And if you guys, obviously, if you guys like the video, help me out by liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. See you guys in the next video. God bless.